Adventures, welcome back. So today we are going to make a slideshow featuring one of my very favorite breeds of dogs, the Husky. Okay, so we are at Google and the first thing that we need to do when we are at Google is type into the search bar, copy, write, free pictures of Huskies. Awesome. Pixabay, 700 free Husky pictures and images. All right. Awesome. So this first line is usually not Pixabay and they are usually um, copyright pictures. But when we scroll down, we can usually find some good copyright free pictures that then we are gonna put into our scratch slides. Okay, so the next thing that I want to do is, I wanna go ahead and pick out five great Husky pictures and then I'm gonna save them to my desktop. So I like this guy right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on him. And oh, look at how beautiful he is. Oh, what a gorgeous, gorgeous boy. Okay, so I am gonna go ahead and over here to the right, hit free download. And then I'm gonna choose a smaller picture size, 640 by 585. And I'm gonna hit download. And let's see here, it's asking if I'd like to donate to the image author. So I'm just gonna X out of that. And now we're waiting for Pixabay. And it says waiting for Pixabay down here on the um, left corner of my screen. Okay, now it's opened it up. So this photo is now in my photos. I wanna make sure this is someplace that I can find it. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna make sure it goes to my desktop. So I'm gonna do save as, and I'm gonna make a new folder that says Husky. I double click and instead of Husky and all these numbers, I'm going to put something that describes this picture. So Husky face picture. All right. And hit save. So now it's in a folder that I can find and now it is a file that I can identify. Okay. So I'm going to go back into my Pixabay pictures that I have, that they have um, shown me that have all kinds of different Husky pictures. I like this picture because it's a classic, um, what Huskies do, classic working picture. So I am gonna go ahead and choose this with them running in their harnesses. So I'll go ahead and hit free download. I'm gonna select a smaller size and click on download again. And then I am going to go over here. It pulls up my picture and this is in my photos and I have thousands of photos. So I don't want to keep my Husky picture there. So I'm going to go to save as. And I, for this picture, I'm going to describe it as Husky pulling sled and hit save. And I hit the back arrow here to go back to all of my results that I was searching for. Okay, let's see, what am I gonna choose next? Oh, I love this picture, this icy picture. So let's go ahead and click on this, hit free download, choose the smaller size, download. Up here and save as in my Husky folder. So Husky in snow. Go back to Pixabay. Oh, this is another great sled picture. So do free download, choose a smaller size, hit download again. Then I'm gonna make sure that I save as, and I'm gonna call this Husky Big Train of Sled Dogs. So I know just by reading it 
what it is. Let's see some other fun pictures. Oh, I like a picture of this little guy right here. So let's get a puppy picture. So I'll choose this. Oh, look at him, he's a little fur ball. Then I do free download, choose the smaller size, download again. And now I go over here, do save as, and this is the last little picture I wanna do. Husky puppy. Hit save. Now I have all of the pictures that I wanna use in my new scratch slideshow in a folder on my desktop called Husky. Awesome. Okay, so the next thing that we want to do is to open up our Scratch and create a new page. And I have logged in so I can share and save my work. Um, we are just going to flip through the pictures of the Huskies after we upload them and we're gonna upload them as backdrops. So um, let's go ahead and create our very first backdrop. So I am in the bottom right hand side of my page and I'm gonna go to choose a backdrop. And for my beginning backdrop where I'm just gonna welcome people and tell people what this slideshow is all about, I think I'm gonna just pick something really super plain like the circles. And then in the circles, I'm gonna to go to my backdrops tab and um, I'm gonna click inside the costume here of my backdrops and I'm gonna add some text. So I click on my text tool and I'm gonna go ahead and choose the color red and I am going to say five husky and that's really super small. So I'm gonna select it. Ooh, I don't wanna make it that big. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. And I'll try and center it just a little bit. Now I still am having like a little bit of trouble seeing that. So I'm gonna draw a rectangle right over the husky text and I am going to push it backward so it sort of highlights my text five husky pictures okay perfect now let's go ahead and let's upload those pictures that we just got from Pixabay so I go to the bottom right hand of my screen and I have several options here. Choose a backdrop, choose a backdrop, paint, surprise, and finally upload backdrop. So that this is what we want to choose, upload backdrop. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And it takes me to my downloads um, folder, but I know what folder I really want. I want to go to my desktop. And I wanna to go to the folder that I just created for this project called Husky. So I double click on it. And the first picture that I wanna choose is Husky face picture, which is just this really great close up picture. All right, that's awesome. Now, um, I'm gonna go ahead and play with this a little bit. So I sort of like the way it's um, looking right here in my preview screen. If I wanted to, I could convert it to a vector just by clicking on it and then I could select it and make it bigger. I don't have to do that, but if I wanted to try and just sort of um, fill this screen, I could do that. And let me try and pull it over a little bit. Now I don't want to dis distort the picture too much and I can't really see the top of his little ears, which are so cute. So I'm gonna pull it down and I've sort of made him a little wider than he needs to be. So I'll just, um, go from, I'll drag from the corner and then that makes him a little bit less wide. I want him to fill the picture though. So I'm going to keep him like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and do these same steps again four more times. So I go to the corner of the right hand of my screen and I go all the way up to upload a backdrop. I click on it 
And I think I want a picture of several dogs now. So I'll do this Huskies pulling the sled, the Huskies in the harness. And that's really beautiful too. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the convert to uh, vector. Then I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna pull from the corner to try and keep the proportions a little bit the way they are in the picture. And I'm gonna just pull this out. And then I'll center it a little bit better. And beautiful. Oh, these are great pictures. Okay, so now I'm gonna go, I have three more pictures that I need to upload. So bottom right hand side, I go up to upload backdrop, click on it. Now I'm gonna choose Husky in snow, hit open. It's importing it. I go down here, convert to vector. I click on it. I think I wanna go ahead and stretch it. I'm gonna like move this over a little tiny bit. because that, how, I, um, how I'm pulling it made him look too narrow. So I'm gonna have him, I'm gonna pull him over a little bit more. Perfect. Okay, we just have two more to do. So I go here, I go up to upload backdrop. Husky big train of sled dogs. Open that next. Convert to vector. I'm really going to try and um, focus the picture right on the dogs so I can see their pretty faces. Okay, one more. So I go to choose a backdrop, upload backdrop. And this process is made so much easier because I have all of my pictures in one folder and ready to go. So there's my husky puppy, hit open. Oops, convert to vector. Okay, there we are. Oh, look at how cute he is. He is fabulous. Okay, terrific. Now, so I have um, a backdrop with nothing I have that I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of. I have my circles backdrop, and instead of it being called circles, I'm gonna say opening backdrop, just to make everything Organized. Then I have my husky face, my dogs pulling in a harness, my husky with snow in the background, a big um, group of sled dogs, and I have my little, last but not least, husky puppy. That might be a Malamute. Look at those brown eyes. Okay, so I am going to go over here and I'm gonna select my first um, five Husky Pictures opening uh, backdrop. Then I'm gonna go into code. And now this is gonna be super simple code. And the code is going to be our kickoff event when green flag is clicked. We're gonna go ahead and switch to backdrop one. Backdrop. So when green flag is clicked, we're gonna to switch to backdrop, opening backdrop, which is this, five Husky pictures. Then we're gonna to go to the event 
When space key is pressed, go to next backdrop. Okay, so let's see if it works. So when I press my green flag, there's my opening backdrop. I press my spacebar, 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 spacebar. Awesome! Okay, now, and then I press my green flag and go back to my five Husky pictures. Um, I wanna make a couple of changes. So let's go back into backdrops. And in this costume, I wanna add something. So I'm going to go to my um, select tool right here, my select arrow, and I'm gonna double click in here. And in between Husky and pictures, I'm gonna put Husky dog pictures. And at the very um, top of this little opening announcement, I want to go ahead and give a very simple set of directions. Please click spacebar to see five husky dog pictures. And I'm going to hit enter to space this out a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to my arrow so I can select this a little bit easier. I'm gonna pull this up, but first, I'm gonna go ahead and click on this black rectangle and make it bigger. And I don't like that red as much as I thought I would. So maybe I'll do like an, a very cool blue. That's a little bit icier. And when I think of a husky, I think of ice. Okay, please click spacebar to see five husky dog pictures. Okay, now, I want to add to my code some music to be playing as we are looking at these beautiful dogs. So I'm gonna just go ahead and hit play sound until done, but instead of pop, I don't want pop. So I am gonna go ahead and go over to my bottom left-hand side. So I don't want pop. I'm gonna go here to sounds and choose a sound in the bottom left hand side of my screen and I like all the sounds that are in dance all right let's choose dance magic okay so let's see have one green flag is clicked, switch backdrop to opening backdrop, um, which says please click spacebar to see five husky dog pictures, play sound, dance magic until done. When spacebar is pressed, go to the next backdrop. All right, so let's check this out. Awesome! Okay, now. The only thing is my music runs out before my dog pictures, I'm getting done with my dog pictures. So I wanna just go ahead and make this a separate event. So I'm gonna do a forever loop on this little guy here. And I'm gonna do a, um, its own little, when green flag is clicked. All right, let's try this out now. Okay, and we're done. 
I hope you've loved this project as much as I have loved explaining it to you. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will see you back for another scratch tutorial very soon.